a wild morning here. <laughs> Everyone's awake now. Breakfast of champions. Does this bear freak anyone else out? Why is his head so small? <laughs> Bye, Uncle Johnny's. I'll miss you too. However, let's go find that new trail. New trail, new trail. Also, yesterday was day number 30 on trail. Didn't even realize it. Happy anniversary to me and the trail. Hi, new blaze. Someone's clever. I like it. <laughs> Haven't filmed much today because it's been an unnoteworthy trail and kind of mad weather. Now the rain's come in. I assume this spot has some good views because I've passed some campsites. But we need to find some lower ground for tonight. Umbrella is engaged. Let us continue. I'm camped tonight at just a single campsite below a piped spring, so I'm here all by myself. I set up my tent in the light rain, but as I was trying to hang my beer bag, it started pouring, and then my tent site started flooding out just a little more than I thought it would. I thought it would drain out pretty quickly. No. It was pooling a little bit, so I got out with a rock and I was digging trenches to try to get it to you know, let the water flow away from the tent site. It was a hot mess. It was a really hot mess. Finally got everything done. I ate, did all my chores. I am back in my tent for the night. Thank goodness. Everything is just a little dirtier than I like, but I think everything will seem a lot better once I take a nap here. Pretty morning light after that rainy night last night. Does anybody know what kind of bird that is? It's got such a beautiful like, crystalline echo to it. Boy, I really missed out on a good campsite. That back there was the summit of Yunaka Mountain. Beautiful, wasn't it? It was just like a fairy paradise back there. All refreshed with such bright green moss and dark wood since it was all wet from last night's rain. That was really something.
look, it's a little snail friend. Hello, friend. You guys, look who we ran into. Ah, it's Chubbs. I've been tracking him for like a week. And the one time I was gonna catch him, he got off at a gap. <laughs> but now he's doing Sobo today because, uh, just because. Yeah. Slack packing. Yeah, Liberty's Enjoying hard. the slacking. You gotta hike your dog's I know. hike. But he didn't have Liberty today, and I'm so sad because I love her. That's his dog. But uh, hopefully we'll run into each other again, yeah, and I'll get to sure. say hi. That was so exciting. I was not expecting to see him today. I met Chives on last year's hike. On day one, we camped together at Hawk Mountain Shelter and the next night at Gooch Mountain Shelter where he offered everyone to hook up to his Wi-Fi. <laughs> but so he's the only person so far I've met from last year's hike. He might end up being the only one, we'll find out. Although I'm really bummed that I didn't get to see Liberty. Chives, I like you but I really wanted to see Liberty. <laughs> it has really gone next level now. I am now a walking clothesline for my black ankle socks that are wet. Walk and dry your linens at the same time. Yes, that is key. <laughs> this is Runway re-earning her trail name. Oh yes. yeah, she's doing the runway thing for sure. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. No that's... more wet tent for her. Uh uh. <laughs> Excellent. Another monument to those who gave up their homes for this trail. I just saw a deer, a white-tailed deer running away. I'm gonna go see if he's around the hill. Very skittish deer, aren't they? There's that bird again. Love it. If anyone wonders where we poop on our hike, you're looking at it. Not a bad place for a bathroom, huh? Nope. You dig what's called a cat hole, and then you mix some organic matter back into the hole with it. You're supposed to stick a big stick on top when you're done, so no one accidentally digs there after you. Mission accomplished. We're ready to hike some more. Welcome everyone to the luxurious Cloudland Hotel. What? It doesn't look like any hotel you've ever seen? Well, that's just because we're about 150 years too late. The Cloudland Hotel was built in 1884 and it featured three stories with finely furnished rooms, comfortable spring beds, copper bathtubs, and steam heat, which was an innovation for its day. Its fantastic location allowed them to advertise as a health resort, and it was a great place to rid yourself of your hay fever. The hotel straddled the Tennessee-North Carolina state line. An interesting fact is they had a stripe painted down the dining room floor and even down the entire length of the dining room table, showing you which side of the state line you're on. That line also had a practical side in that it showed you which side you could drink on, which was Tennessee, and which side it was illegal. North Carolina. If you can imagine the grandeur of hotel life, guests relaxed in rocking chairs on wide porches, kicked up their heels on the dance floor, enjoyed bowling, croquet, and golf, and had three sumptuous meals a day. All this for just $2 per day, $10 per week, or $30 per month. What a steal. This is the parking area for Roan Mountain, the most beautiful mountain east of the Rockies. Look, they have bathrooms. Gonna go look at those. Wow, really? Every single bathroom locked. What a disappointment. 
Look at this. This is what I find so interesting. It's a chimney ruins. Whose was it? What year was the house built? I haven't had success Googling it so far. This is just below the Cloudland Hotel site on Roan Mountain. Maybe one of y'all already know. Hello! It's neat to picture the house that would have stood there with it. It must have been a small one because there's not a whole lot of flat space here. What kind of meals were cooked around that hearth? Who stayed warm and what kind of weather? This is Roan High Knob Shelter. It's the highest shelter in elevation on the Appalachian Trail at over 6,000 feet. I kind of wanted to stay here because it's supposed to be sitting on intersecting ley lines, which are somehow have magical earth force energy. And it's supposed to give you some good juju. Do you feel the good juju? Ooh, it's warm in here. I would not have minded this. Oh, there's a loft. There's a ladder and a loft. We are apparently at 6,275 elevation. A lot of the shelters recently have these graffiti boards to try to prevent graffiti on the shelters themselves. Neat building. I'm glad I came up to see this. And get the good juju. Feeling the forces, feeling it. As I'm grabbing water real quick, let's talk about today. The last two days I hadn't filmed much because quite frankly, they weren't very exciting. But today we have a little more things coming up. We have Round Bald, Jane Bald, and Grassy Ridge Bald coming up. Then we have Over Mountain Shelter, which is a new, neat two-story barn structure that hikers used to be able to stay in until it was decommissioned. And then if the weather holds out, and if I'm feeling good, I hope to make it to Hump Mountain where I'll plan to camp with Squid and Runway, but that'll make it a 19.6 day. So it'll be a long day. We'll see how the day unfolds. Wow, looks like we're in for a treat. I have hiking friends. That dog is Ruth. Round number one, or bald number one, round bald. and Ruth right there. You may have picked this up in a previous video, but this is how through hikers make a spigot. Just shove a leaf in there. So I've just been picking ramp leaves as I'm going and eating them. That's okay, right? I'm not gonna die, right? Mmm, rampy. It's a ramp wonderland. So many ramps. Ooh, I'm burping up ramps here. Oh my goodness, I see it. Have you ever seen so many photos of something and you're picturing what it looks like in your mind and it's just so exciting to see what it's really like? Yeah, 
past this moment. Let's go check out that barn. So check this out. How cool is that? They had sleeping platforms that were removed apparently. All right? And then your view was that. How nice is that? You can still camp here and this is where I was going to stay. It is tempting because it's protected from the high winds today. But I wonder if perhaps that might be Hump Mountain. Well, I gotta decide. I'm gonna take a break anyway. It's packs off snack time. Hey, Maple. Girl Scout cookies with a view, huh? Mmm, delicious. So cool. So glad I went to see it. So decision is, we're pressing on. Bye barn. See you next time. Can y'all see that old rusty barbed wire fence there? Don't you ever wish you could know who put stuff like that up and when and for what reason? Sometimes I wish I could rewind time and be here at that moment. How cool would that be? south right now and I know I'm technically heading north on the 18th but this just feels so wrong. Oh thank you that feels much better. <laughs> Ahoy! Hump Mountain! sites. Twenty one point eight miles, and that includes two pretty substantial mountains. Whoop whoop! Tomorrow is going to be a pretty true Nero into town. Good day. Oh, now we're leaving North Carolina. Y'all really need to make up your minds. Or maybe this means we won't be coming back. What's up? Here's tonight's tent site. I decided that I wanted to stay on the North Carolina side of the state line one more night. I'm on the prohibition side. All these people over here are gonna be getting all crazy, drinking their alcohol tonight. We sometimes mix some rock climbing in. Look, they are lushes on this side of the state line. I knew it. 
I watched him. He was up there for half an hour and never succeeded. He just picked it up and came back to the came back to the shelter and set it up. Oh no! Crowd. And, and that's why the bear was in the campsite. <laughs> Ruthie, look at your cute little Ruthie, shoes. Look at the shoes. Oh. Ruth. Hey, that's not fair, okay? <laughs> I didn't get her in my video. No. You snooze, you lose, right, Ruthie? You can yeah. sit. Is your pop? Good girl. Oh, what a, oh my goodness. What a good girl. <laughs>